Bro here. Thank you for visiting you, Grow Row. If this is your first time, I hope you consider subscribing at the end of this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. So today I'm gonna be um, processing some peppers. I was looking at the Flash Food app and uh, they had some veggie boxes on sale for five bucks each. So I grabbed two of them and um, just looking at them, I could tell that they had quite a bit of, uh, uh, what do you call them? Bell peppers in there. So I'm gonna be freezing those. Um, what these are is these veggie boxes are, it's uh, vegetables that are probably gonna be nearing the end of their life, <laughs> you know? They're not gonna be great for use pretty soon here. So you gotta process them pretty quick. And uh, I usually like to buy these and then, you know, go home and clean them up, process them, however I'm gonna do it, whether that be dehydrating or cooking that day or what I'm gonna be doing today is freezing them and um, or vacuum sealing them and then putting them into the freezer. So uh, I was gonna bring you guys along. If you have a chance to pick up a bulk of veggies for super cheap, something you might try. We usually have these on hand for whatever we need. I like to do them in two different kinds of ways. I like to do them in slices um, for things like, uh, what do we, we do, do uh, sausage and peppers and onions. And then I like to do dices and those are great for anything. You can throw them in an omelet in your spaghetti sauce, um, anything you're cooking. So let's head to the store and go get these veggie boxes. real quick what these veggie boxes are looking like these are I have been living at the dentist lately they've been tearing my whole dang old mouth up anyways that's what that's from and then they also had bacon on sale this week buy one get one free so that's thick cut Jimmy Dean uh, comes to like four dollars a pack I remember when my stock up price for bacon was two fifty a pack Days are long gone. Anyways, let's look. So for five bucks, I got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten peppers and three cucumbers in that box. This box I got one, two, three, four cucumbers and three, six, nine, ten peppers in this box. So 20 peppers, seven cucumbers for 10 bucks. Not bad, but you consider peppers are going for $2.99 a pound in my neighborhood at least. And these look good. They're not all great, but this is awesome. So see what I'm saying? They're starting to approach that time. So you gotta do something with them now. All right. All right, hey there friends. I'm back from the grocery picking up the food boxes or the um, veggie boxes from my local Giant Eagle. Um, I got the veggies in some vinegar and water solution sitting there soaking. I'm about to get my chopper out, go ahead and dice these up, and then I plan on flash freezing them. Alright guys, so I changed my mind. I have what I what, one, two, three, six um, red bell peppers, and I wasn't expecting that. Um, so I'm gonna turn these into smoked paprika. So 
I'm gonna prep those first because they're gonna need a few hours to um, smoke. And I'm gonna put these in my smoker. I just went and got the smoker um, all set. Let me. I turned it on, I got my chips in there. It's my understanding that it's best with oak chips, but I don't have those. So I used what I had. And that'll be totally fine. I think I had a video from a, last year where I made paprika. And I will make sure to link that one above. But in that video, I didn't do um, smoked paprika. And honestly, I don't even remember how detailed I was in that video. Might not have been detailed at all. The goal this year was to make as much paprika as I could and as much hot sauce as I could. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a whole bunch of bottles of the vinegar, hot pepper vinegar for Christmas presents because that went over really well last year. But, you know, I don't want to get greedy. <laughs> this is perfect. All right, so nothing is going to waste. That pepper that I'm not gonna use, going in the Vitamix, whole thing. Stem and all. <laughs> Along with all the other stems from the other peppers and the ribs. Here's my big old bowl of peppers. These are gonna go in the smoker. All right, I got them in there. I left the bottom one open because we're gonna cook up some lunch here in a little bit. And, but there we go. Let's let them go for a couple hours. I'm gonna get on processing these. Orange and yellow bell peppers. And the reason I'm doing the large dice is because um, whenever you freeze, like freezing peppers works really well. They do well being frozen, but they can get a little mushy and that's a bit unappetizing. And so it'd be better. Oops. Um, to have larger pieces whenever you're cooking with them for whatever use that's going to be. Oops. As you can see, this chopper makes quick work of dicing these peppers.
good. So once I freeze these peppers, these are not gonna be good for like throwing in a salad or whatever. They're just gonna be good for cooking with. I might be able to still preserve some of the um, texture by doing it in the larger chunks, but overall you wanna use these cooked. I got them spread out in one layer. I'm just gonna throw these in the freezer for about an hour, then pull them out and start um, vacuum sealing. make this wet vacuum seal. All right, this one's a working. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the second one. Two times the charm, right? Let's see. Thank you. 